Marvel Burke. I was born in Jamaica, West Indies. My birthday is March 18, 1962. I came to the state when I was 18. Basically, my entire relation and family is in the U.S. First, I went to school, and then I attended college for a while until my mother died. Come on. Oh, oh yours. Come on. I got it. There you go. Come on. Push. Come on. There you go. Watch. Orville's been around for quite a few years. He was in the Eastern USA a few years back, and then in 96, when he decided he really wanted to give it a, a serious shot, he came in and he pretty much won hands down. And he came to me and asked me what I thought, and I thought the following year, he, you know, if he continued his training, he'd be ready to hit either the USA or the Nationals. And he went to the USA, and it was an okay showing, a respectable showing. And then he sat back for another year and improved, came back, did the Nationals, and he won, 98. And then he, the following year, he did Night of Champions. Didn't really have a good showing. Once again, he needed a little kick in the ass. And the following year, as you could see, what he did, I mean, you know, he broke right into the top five and did a real good showing in Toronto, a real good showing at Night of Champions. And I believe now he'll do a real good showing at the Olympia. Well, my style changed in the last year and a half because basically I was doing steel training all the time. So I decided to add some, add some fresh things into it. And that gentleman, Victor, he helped me out with um, pushing me when I needed to be pushed and so on because basically I used to train by myself. And then when I needed somebody to critique me and so on, then I will come to Steve and he will tell me how I'm going and so on. On Mondays, I would do shoulders and triceps and traps. On, on Tuesday, I would do chest, biceps and back. On Thursday, I take Wednesday off, come back and do legs and leg biceps and then I start all over again with the other body parts. So basically, I don't do a full training right through the, I do a every training one day, and I basically just do touch up, touch up the weeks, the days after. I do cardio for about 30 minutes. I think anything beyond 30 minutes is a waste of time. If I need to lose weight, I'll come in the morning with 30 minutes, and then 30 minutes in the evening again. Actually, I take in more carbs in the in the um, season training contest preparation than off season training because off season training I eat um, basically more fats and so on, which is good because I have a very fast metabolism, so I have to be very careful what I eat or I lose a lot of weight. Um, off season, I might take in although it's less meals. I might take in about um, 7,000 calories and about um, eating clean, getting prepara contest preparation, I would say I take in about 6,000 calories. Right now, I have about eight small meals a day. Basically, it's steak once for the day and chicken about four to five times and eggs, uh, eggs once and um, also supplement it with protein, which is for iron tech. The first year I did um, in the national, I came in at 214 and I took third. And the year that I won, I came in at 240, which is about a year and a half improvement. And then for my first pro debut, I came in too flat because I came in at two. 47 or something like that and I was just flat there was no 
nothing happening with my muscles just wasn't there. And then I decided to change, revamp my training totally. I spoke to Steve, and then we increased the calories, we started to train harder. And I came in bigger and fuller at the Toronto, and I even came in bigger at the Night of Champions, which was a weak difference. I came in in the, the Toronto Pro, I came in about 249, and for the Night of Champions, I came in about 254. And for the, the Olympia, I'll be coming in about 262. My current weight now is 275, three weeks out from the, the Olympia. Chins. I think chin-ups is one of the best basics around for anybody who need a back. If you don't have a V-shape or anything, there's nothing that will give you a good shape like chins. And then you can go into the dead, dead, the dead, um, the, the rows afterwards. But I really swear by chinning. This is my first year at the Olympia, and I'm looking forward to the fan support. And I'll be doing a good showing for you guys because my interest is mainly for the fans first and then for everyone else because they are the people that make you or break you. Thank <laughs> you. 